so right now I'm just going to be doing my 2013 summer must-haves. And um, I got requested to do this um, a couple months ago just because I have a lot of summer products. And my May favorites and my April favorites, I don't know why, it was just me, I guess. Um, so yeah, excuse my voice, I am trying to get, starting to get sick, not trying to get sick, but I'm starting to get a little sick and you know, I kind of put on some foundation this morning, but it's kind of worn off just a little bit. There's like, yeah, it's really crazy, just excuse this. And I did another video today, so that's why I'm wearing the same exact tank top. Um, and I just pulled my hair up because it got really hot in my house, so yeah. Um, to, uh, disclaimer for this video, I am not sponsored by anybody to show any products of theirs in here. And, um, I bought this stuff with my own money or either I just had it for a while, so that means somebody else bought it for me. And I just had it for a while, so yeah. Um, well I'm just going to start with my beauty products and work my way into like the hygiene and my fashion products so if you see me reaching all the way over here it's because i got a lot of stuff that's like a big pile right now so let's get started okay so the first thing that you're gonna want is a bb cream and you probably have seen this in my june favorites which i just uploaded but it is just a bb cream that i made at home i can probably swatch just a little bit it was too much i'll just swatch a little bit for you guys and it does cover up like it does a little coverage. You can't really see it because it's like a light color. Because I didn't want it too dark because I didn't want it to look like an orange. So, yeah. um, You can go just get the Maybelline Dream Fresh or the Clinique BB Cream. Something like that. But I thought it was really cheap. Um, <clears throat> just because I had two foundations that were really heavy on my skin. So, I just mixed them together with a moisturizer. So, yeah. You probably, sorry, I'm getting really sick. Just please excuse if I, like, do this during the video because I am just starting to get really sick and I don't like it. So, um, yeah, please excuse that. But, yeah, it's just in a little travel size shampoo or lotion or bottle. I don't know. But, yeah, just gotta text message again. Oh, my God. Okay, so I'm going too long on this this one product, but anyway, it is um, very good, so, you know, if this is a homemade one, so if you want a um, DIY on this, I will definitely do one. Just leave a comment down below, and I will definitely do it. Okay, next thing, if you're going to wear mascara anywhere, and you just happen to go to swimming, if you don't know, like, later on in the day, if you have makeup on and you happen to go swimming, I would definitely recommend, all summer long, using a waterproof mascara, and this, I didn't even know it was waterproof until, like, two weeks after I bought it because I did a review on this and it never uploaded so you know um this is just the Mayb Maybelline the Mega Plush Volume Express Waterproof and I'm hoping to get the Rocket and the Colossal this summer um so yeah yeah just make sure you have a waterproof and my phone just like flipped off I am so sorry you guys it just like uh, I'm on my stool right now so not a really good thing. But, um, anyway, so, yeah, just, you know, any kind of waterproof mascara will do you good. The next couple of things are nail polishes. Is that what they're called? Yeah, nail polishes. <coughs> um, it's just this, um, any kind of pink color. This is the New York Color Long Wearing Nail Enamel in 109 Pink Promenade Cream. And it's just a really pink color, and it's so pretty, and it's from the New York Color Line. So, yeah, I really love this stuff, and I have it on my toes right now. I'm going to be painting my fingernails today. Really excited. Yay! And then, on top of that, I always use, during the summer, my Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. Because when you go swimming, and you don't, you just use, like, a regular, like, when I use New York Color on my nails, like, it just, like, wore off when I went swimming for two days. Well, not two days straight, but when I went swimming, um, two days after I painted my nails. And it was just, like, wearing off in the pool and everything. So, yeah. I used the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. I don't think they have this anymore, at least not in this form. They probably have more at on Sally's. But, you know, this stuff is really good, and I really love it. So, yeah. The next three things are my lip products, and these are the last things for my beauty. And are, they are just these lip products. This is the New York Color um, in Violet Shine. It doesn't look like a springy color, but I'm wearing it right now, and it, like, blends in with your, like, natural skin, like, natural lip color. And, yeah, and it makes it, like, really pink. I can swatch a little bit for you. 
that's what it looks like and it's a really pinky color which I am totally in love with so yeah I would recommend going out and getting this it looks like a bullet actually just dropped it <laughs> and please excuse me I'm looking that way I have like a I don't know I'm using my phone and you know my camera's like my camera little thing is right there and I'm looking at my screen to make sure everything's okay so yeah um just excuse that but anyway it looks like a bullet I don't know why it just reminds me of a bullet but yeah yeah I really like this color the next lip product is my baby lips of course you probably saw this in my June favorites because it is very moisturizing there's nothing else to really say about it <clears throat> but it is just my baby lips in <clears throat> sorry in peach kiss um yeah that's what it looks like and it doesn't it's, it looks like it's brown honestly it looks like it's brown but really it's like a glossy like cover for your lips I don't know but it's really cute and I am totally in love with this so yeah the next thing is I don't know if they sell this anymore but I found this in the back of my um, bathroom which I've been finding a lot of stuff in the back of my bathroom but it's just this Rimmel Vinyl Stars um, Brilliant High Shine and Sparkle Lip Gloss just looks like this I don't know what the color is but I know it's in 172 but it, the thing wore off a little bit but you know I can show you the color I haven't used this in such a long time but I thought it was a really pink like pretty color so yeah it just looks like that so yeah really pretty pink color so yeah I'm just gonna try to you know yeah okay so that's all for the beauty so I'm just gonna slide those over to the side and have them in a pile so yeah the next thing is my hygiene and I'm just gonna start off with the shampoos that you probably like your hair care or stuff or whatever so if you're gonna be in the water in the ocean water lake water um uh, what's it called? Amusement park water, which is the same thing as pool water, but pool water, any kind of sort of like chlorine water or sea salt water or, you know, any kind of lake water, I definitely recommend getting a, um, clarifying shampoo. And so, yeah, the first one is the Pantene Classic, and I got these in the little samples because I wanted to try them out because I'm not a really big Pantene buyer because it just, it does make my hair look really greasy. But, um, yeah, I really like this stuff a whole lot, so, yeah. Really go out and try to get this. This stuff is really good. And it is a clearing fry shampoo, so it makes your hair really soft. So I don't put the conditioner, like, on the roots of my head. I, like, put it on the ends because that's where I get my split ends from, from the chlorine during the summer. So, yeah, I recommend going out and getting this. And also, if you can't get Moroccan oil or um, coconut milk, I am looking into getting that when I go to camp. So I will definitely have that in um, my camp hall or my hall for camp or whatever. So, yeah. I definitely recommend going to go get that. The next thing, I haven't used this in a while, but this is a big Pantene bottle I probably have told you guys about that both when I showed you my samples. Um, but, you know, this is just, I don't know, I just didn't really get fond to like it just because it made my hair really greasy. But that is because I dried my hair. I have learned you're not supposed to, like, dry your hair when you use Pantene. But this is just the shampoo. It's the Flat to Volume Fine Hair Solutions. Please excuse my dogs, they're like in there scratching, I don't know why. But anyway, um, yeah, it's just panting, you know, one. So you probably, this is clarifying too, so I'm just going to be putting this like once on my hair and then using my regular shampoo, so yeah. The next thing is my John Frieda Sheer Blonde Glistening Perfection Conditioner Platinum to Champagne. This is the best conditioner ever on your ends after you get out of the pool, just because it makes your hair feel so, so good. Um, if I go to the pool, like at my gym or whatever, <clears throat> with my friends and my boyfriend or whatever, I mention my boyfriend a lot in my videos. If you don't like that, just leave a comment down below and I probably won't, like, mention him as much. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe I've mentioned him, like, once in, like, two of my videos, I think. I don't know. But anyway, whenever I go to the pool with my friends and somebody else, yeah, just anybody, any of my friends, I take this with me and a little, little travel bottle or I or I just take the whole thing and um <clears throat> I wet my hair after I get out of the pool or whatever <clears throat> and I put this on my ends let it sit there for like two minutes then I rinse it out so yeah and um I will be getting a three minute miracle from Ozzy this summer before camp because I'm going to be needing that so yeah I really recommend going to go get a John Frieda conditioner because this is amazing <clears throat> the next thing is um another hair another two hair products and that's gonna be it for hair it is my tresme thermal creations heat protection um usually i do not use heat in the summer just because 
if I use heat, like if I blow dry my hair after I get out of the shower, it's I feel really hot, like I'm sweating and I have to pull up my hair and everything. And it's a total mess. My hair gets frizzy. Or if I straighten it, the humidity is like crazy during the summer here. So, you know, um, I just try to use like a little bit of heat protectant, which I don't know. I probably need to go get some more because I've been using it nonstop these past couple of months. But, um, yeah, I definitely, if you are going to use heat, use a heat tamer because I really recommend this. So, yeah. The next thing is a DIY and it is a salt spray. I probably showed this to you in my jean favorite, which is going to be up a little later today. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm getting really sick. It's so annoying. But anyway, it just looks like this. Um, yeah, it just looks, you know, really cray cray. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, if you want a DIY on this, just let me know. My cookies are beeping, so I'm probably going to go through these fast. The next thing is these two tanning lotions. It is the European Gold um, Indoor Tanning and Hawaiian Tropic. I love these so much. They gave me such a dark tan, and I really recommend going out and getting these. I'm going really fast. I'm sorry. The next thing, if you're in the pool like me and you get styes like me on your eye, definitely recommend going out and getting a sty ointment. Just in case, just, you know, just in case if you do get a sty during the summer. I had to get this at the mountains, so, because I had a bad sty on my eye. And it was really crazy. It was really gross. So, yeah, it just looks like this. You can go to Walmart or Dollar Store anywhere. And it's usually like 9 like $10, so it's not that bad. The next thing is this um, sweat control deodorant. And it is the Old Spice Fiji. You probably saw this in my June favorites. So, um, yeah, it smells so amazing. And I have it on right now because in my house it's really hot during the summertime. So I usually put a sweat control deodorant on just in case I start to sweat. And I have on a really cute outfit. And I just don't want to, or if I'm just like lazy and I don't want to get sweat on my clothes. So, yeah, it just looks like this, and it smells amazing. The next thing are these little um, outfits, and you're just probably going to, I mean, it's just the fashion part. Probably going to need a crop top, and you probably saw this in my haul, so, yeah. Crop topness, but, yeah, it's just brown, it's plain, I mean, it's nothing really big to it. I might wear that tonight when I go to, you know, the movies. And then you're probably going to need some shorts. Um, my parents protest again against me. Wearing booty shorts, but these do not show any of my butt. So, yeah. Well, it does show my butt, but it doesn't show the skin of my butt. It shows the butt, my butt, in these lovely pants. But these are from Guess, so, yeah, you're probably going to need to wear shorts. You're also going to need a cover-up or a maxi dress. I mean, it's just, this is from Five Below, so, I mean, it's nothing really special. But it is really pretty, and, you know, it's very, like, long, I guess. It only goes, like, midway my calf. So, yeah, you're probably going to need a cover-up for the beach or something. And if you get, like, really cold during the night and it's nighttime at your house, just, you know, grab a little cardigan sweater just to keep, you know, you comfy and warm during those cold summer nights just in case you go off and you forget your sweater. Always have an extra one in the car. So, yeah. All right. Um, and the last couple things is bags, I guess. You're probably going to need a beach bag or a little... I don't know, a little pool bag to carry out your suntan lotion, your headphones, your music, your water, your snacks, and all that stuff. It's not really big, but it is portable. You're going to need a crossover bag if you guys go shopping a lot like me. Um, I just have this Jamaican, Jamaica crossover bag with a little, I don't know, the bow is like tangled up right now, but it's with a little um, bow, purple bow. So yeah, I really love this bag so much, and yeah. Alright, sorry if I was rushing too fast at the end of this video because my cookies just went off and I can't wait to see how good they look so much. Okay, so um, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs this video up and remember um, a couple announcements. If you want to see my DIY on these two products, let me know down in the down bar and I will really do one. And if you want a, because I have a bunch of samples, if you want my sample collection, just let me know and I'll really do a video about that because I've been wanting to so badly. So yeah, thumbs this video up. Um, hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you.